All right, sorry, I got cut off in the last video there. Anyways, what I did was I copy and pasted the username, access URL, and password information from the general comment section into the CMS um, information. So what I did is I did that copy paste, and then I'm going to click Add Information to make sure that it saves. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the access URL. Let's just go see up here. Anywhere, it doesn't really matter as long as it's in internet related. And administrator. I'm just going to make sure that this password works. Because if it doesn't, we don't need to have it in here. Just click login. And this is, ta-da, the back end of the client website. So those username and password work, which is great. So back to the database. So I'm just going to kind of go through these tabs here, make sure that we've got everything we need. So OK, so we've got the client, login URL, username, and password. We know that those are accurate. Beautiful thing. Domain name, not with us, so it doesn't matter. Control panel URL, perfect. OK, so those are the three sections which are updated for this client. The email addresses doesn't matter because the host is with other. CMS admin we just did. SMM passwords. OK, so right away I can tell there's a couple things that shouldn't be in here. Um, so website, WordPress, like that just goes into CMS admin. If you see that in here, you can take it out because it's got nothing to do with social media. Well, it does, but we want to keep that information separate. Delete. Same thing with Google Analytics. This information should actually be going into the SEO section. I've got a list to tell you which what should go where. And then for maximum security, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the Gmail information in MISC. So that'll all be in the list for you there. So back to clients, SEO. Oh, I didn't say that. OK, so SEO is usually a shorter section. Um, AdWords is perfect in here. Um, again, I'll have a list for you as to what should go in here and what shouldn't, so that's no problem. Um, miscellaneous, yeah, we talked about that. So that's all pretty pretty groovy. Um, that's pretty much how you would check and find out all that information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the administrative backend. One moment. All right, so this is the administrative backend of the client database, highly top secret stuff. So you go to newmediagroup.ca slash admin slash admin login dot php. Type in your username and password. And if you've got access to this, you will be granted access. So the main thing that I wanted to just show you here was adding and deleting users and adding new admin users. So if you click on this tab, the only thing you really need to fill out is um, first name, last name, username, password. Um, email address, not really, but we'll do it anyways. Oh no, I made my keyboard French. Okay, that one's fine. Um, so yeah, first name, last name, username, password, email address. The rest of the stuff doesn't really matter. This is what I want to show you, is these checkboxes here. So by clicking these boxes, you're enabling this user to have access to that information. So as an administrator, that means you can get access to this back end. Uh, domain and host, it means that you have access to that ever, all the information in the domain and hosting button. Same thing with email addresses, CMS admin. So basically, like this is determining whether these buttons are even going to show up for these people. And then client edit access. So for yourself, I'm going to give you all of these accesses. Add user. Bam. Done. All right. Thanks for watching.